Well, that rabbit fell to Roy Lupton, who's out on the marshes in the dark. Bird Table of Doom is back with James Marchington. We've got hot air, we've got air streaming. Welcome to Airheads. Roy has an odd relationship with technology. The courtship is painful, but eventually romance prevails. Tonight he's on some very special marshland to do some rabbiting. We are out on the marshes on a very windy night. Luckily it's not a wet and windy night. And we have got a night sight eagle on top of a march scope. And we're gonna go out and see if we can just account for a few rabbits. Uh, again, just before we go out, because it's a, a new bit of kit going on the scope, I just want to make sure that we're 100% zeroed. We've got the illuminated reticle on, and that really just does the hone that in nicely. It's not a great start, as Roy has forgotten to fiddle with the power setting. I can't understand what you're saying, sorry mate. You were just, you're just being rude, weren't you? Yeah, there is a very special little dial and I'm not going to talk to you about that, just on the side of the FX, which works incredibly well at switching from FAC to sub 12 foot pound. And because David was rushing me yet again, <laughs> so I had forgotten to change it over to FAC and I couldn't quite figure out when we got over to the targets why it was a little bit lower than I was hoping. So we'll try that one again. On top of his FX Royale and on the back of the march is a night sight. It's their first date, so it ain't going to be pretty. That was nice and easy, first one in. We'll pick them as we go because I'm trying to keep a track of the rabbits out on rough grass like this. It's quite easy to lose them afterwards, so I want to make sure we don't waste them. So where we are tonight, we're just out on some marshes and the marshes have always been very good for the rabbits and it's, uh, you've got obviously it's all drained land out on the marshes here but it does make for incredibly good rabbiting ground, it's uh, superb for them. For It's been a while since Roy was here, but he is going to be back soon. For more information about the night site, go to nightsite.com. Now from fumbling around in the dark to David with hot air. This is hot air. Let's have a heated debate. Crosman celebrated the launch of its airbow by asking Jim Shockey to shoot a buffalo with it. The Benjamin Pioneer airbow moves an arrow at 450 feet per second, has eight full power shots, can be cocked and decocked with two fingers, and says the manufacturer shoots two inch groups at 50 yards. Learn more at crosman.com forward slash airbow. And Crosman is not the only one. FX Airguns is soon to launch a new arrow barrel and arrow for the FX Impact. Here's the first look by Michael from the Addicted to Airguns YouTube channel. It's the Airgun World and Airgunner magazine survey. For your chance to win Ballistol gun oils worth up to £20, go to bit.ly forward slash airgun survey. A wildlife organisation has called on the Forestry Commission to allow the culling of grey squirrels with airguns. The European Squirrel Initiative says that the grey squirrel is an invasive non-native species, which is dominating UK woodland and urges the Commission to use airguns to eradicate them. And finally, squirrels are presenting bigger targets than normal. The mild winter in many areas of the world has led to squirrels across Europe and North America piling on the pounds. These pictures come from Twitter. The freakishly warm weather has meant trees still have an abundant banquet of nuts and seeds, and squirrels have been taking full advantage. You are now up to date with hot air. Aiming for accuracy, targeting the truth. Thank you, David. 
Next up, James Marchington's bird table is no place to be if you're a pest. It's amazing how much wildlife you get in a suburban garden like mine. OK, it's not your average suburban garden, what with the ducks and chickens and nesting boxes everywhere and all sorts of bird feeders that I keep topped up all the time. We get all sorts of wildlife dropping in, from blue tits and robins to more exotic visitors like goldfinches, gold crests and, yes, even those parakeets. All that bird food brings in some less welcome visitors too. I don't mind the jackdaws, or even the feral pigeons. I know to some people they're pests, but they're not really causing problems here and I don't begrudge them a few seeds. I do draw the line at rats though. We had a bit of an infestation a few months ago. They were living under the neighbour's shed and coming through the fence to eat the spilt bird seed. I never did manage to film myself shooting one, but eventually I got all ten, with a combination of traps and shooting them with the air gun. The other unwelcome visitors are the squirrels. I know some people find them cute, but to me they're just rats with fluffy tails. With spring around the corner, they'll be breaking into my nest boxes and killing any number of songbirds and their eggs and chicks, so I want them gone before they get the chance. Shooting in the garden, I do have to be super careful about the angles. You could easily put a pellet through the fence, which would be illegal as well as dangerous. Using an upstairs window means the pellet will bury itself safely in the ground, but I still have to be careful I'm not overlooked. Not all the neighbours are keen on guns and pest control, and there's no point alarming anyone. I've screwed this spinner target into the side of my feeding post so I can quickly check the zero of the BSA R10. And I've got my shooting position all set up so I can just ease the window open and I'm ready to go. With all that preparation, when Mr Squirrel does show up, it's almost too easy. Here he comes now, a little bit wary, but he really wants those peanuts. Open the window, load a pellet, wait for him to sit still and... So that's one gone, but there's still a couple more around. Oh, and you know what I said about suburban wildlife? Well, look what happened when I left that squirrel out that night. Thank you, James. From his back garden to the wider world of air gunning on YouTube, it is Air Streaming. Charlie Jacoby here. This is my roundup of the best air gunning on YouTube. Sig Zauer has launched its advanced sport pellet line of rifles and pistols. These semi automatic CO2 powered guns are matched to the original center fire models in weight, trigger pull, and performance. And here is the film. Air Gun Gear Show has been reviewing Sig Zauer's and also has this review of the BSA R10 Mark II, looking at power, accuracy, and shot count. Here's a film that gives a good idea about where your air guns come from. Crossman Custom Air Gun Shop looks at the manufacturing process. Hunters Vermin's recent films include this one, Air Rifle Hunting Farmyard Vermin Control 29. It is a wet morning, so he heads out to a farm he has shot before after magpies and jackdaws. Viewer Nick King says this is worth a plug, and his range is after rabbit squirrels and pigeons with his HW97. Throwback is making an airgun YouTube channel a useful retirement job in western Washington State, USA. In this film, he is shooting rats with the Benjamin Marauder Woods Walker. Ending on the big hitters among the world's airgunning YouTube channels, Matt Dubber is after grey squirrels and cooking them with Kai Apgrind not what he has been used to in South Africa. And finally, a new departure for Ted's Holdover. Why do headshots make animals go crazy? Or really, what do we mean when we say, don't worry kid, it's just nerves? Ted asks the scientists. Links to watch the videos are in this film's description. If you would like to send in a video for air streaming, ping me the link, charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv.
Here's another launch. It's the promo for the Galahad air gun from Air Arms. It's a bullpup based rifle that contains the same power plant and magazine system as the S410 S510 range. Stay with the pictures of the castle. We're making a link here with Sir Galahad. Its forward mounting cocking lever placed at the centre of the action encourages the shooter to stay on target, reduces body movement and helps maintain stealth. For more from Air Arms, visit its YouTube channel. Well, this has been Airheads. We're back in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching.